What's up guys, Mitchell Pelkey back with another banger. I'm out here in Long Island, New York at St. Anthony's High School with Brennan O'Neill, number 34, attackman at Duke University. We're gonna do a couple shooting contests, Q&A, get some food, stay tuned. First competition of the day, we got pig, but you guys know it as lax. Here we go, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, say? First competition of the day is pick, but we call it lax. You guys know the rules, so let's get into it. Let's go. All right, go, bouncer crossbar. Oh, oh. <laughs> starting out tricky. I wasn't faithful. The fans know we're gonna go 10 yards crossbar. Oh. All right, we're gonna get a little twisty action, a little twister, top left. That was good. Oh. Too low. Let's just go simple top left. No, that's not good enough. Okay, all right. Yeah, right pipe. <laughs> oh, twister to the right pocket. All right, near side, top right. I'll be on it. Crossbar from 10. Oh. Old and faithful, Riverside, Mitchell Pelkey. Low to high, right hand, top right. Oh. Little bouncer, top left. Oh. So behind the red, behind the white over there, he's got to get it in. Little off hand, top left. <laughs> no way! No. I got the righty. That's it, that's game, I know. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Don't count the lefty out now. That's it. The kid beat me on his own turf. You gotta say all the fans out there. Uh, you know, we don't have many fans in the bleachers, but um, the home turf, I was comfortable and he wasn't, so. Last time he was on this turf, we won the state championship, right? Yeah, last time I was here, yep. Going on to competition number two, Goalie Wars. This is the biggest competition on Mitchell Pelkey YouTube. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. So close to 40,000 subscribers. All right, I'm shooting for us, let's go. Three, four, helmet. He's got the earring. Tell us a little bit about the earring. Uh, you know? A couple of my boys did it at school. I was the only one who stuck with it. You know, I liked how they looked. Other people did too, so just kept them from there. You got a girlfriend back in school? No, I don't. You single? I'm single, hit me up. Instagram, hit him with a D. <laughs> wow. Wow, it looks natural. Looks natural, kind of like Scotty Rogers in Cage. All right, first shot. What are you thinking here? I always go with the rollers. You know, roller, my yeah, technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the shack size feet with the save. Oh no, the pipe! The pipe, all right. Yes, yes. Oh. Wow, I love that, I love that, I love that. Oh no, that's a good save. No way, the cat! He's playing games, two for seven, folks. Oh no! Let's go. Oh, the pinger! Big body in cage, couple leg saves. What's that shoe are you? 14. And right, now I'm a nine and a half. Let's switch it up. Oh. The chrome dome's coming out. The Hopped black in cage, the chrome dome. Had to retire the black. We're going no chin strap. Feeling confident. We got O'Neal up there. USA shorts, playing USA this summer with our coach, Coach Myers. Excited about that, but uh, you know, I'm real confident about myself. I'm in my hometown. I was actually born in Long Island. I'm going 10 for 10 here. Oh, yes, sir. Roll. Oh, first here. He's getting nervous, he's getting nervous. Low to low. Woo! Over four. Wow. Wow, that's deserved right there. You're giving too much. The low, the low guys are tough. <laughs> he's going far down on me? He did. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> Little twister. Oh, wow, folks. If he doesn't make it, we're going to overtime. If he does, this is game, folks. Uh oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> that hit way. off your foot. That is a rookie move by Pelk. Well, I gotta give it to my guy. Came down on the wire. Good game, good game, absolutely. How do you feel in cage? 
Well, good, man. I haven't played goalie since probably second grade, but it was natural. What are the odds you try for a goalie next year? 25%. 25%, all right, it's not, yeah. it's not ruling out, not ruling out. We're gonna go to the last competition of the day, not the net. You guys know the rules start at the five. Keep going back, gotta hit the net before it goes in the cage. Let's get it going. Oh. Five yards. Roll the clip. O'Neill at SCX weekend had a great showing. Roll that clip. No. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go 10 yards here. We're gonna go 15 yards. Ooh, close. Uh oh. You Man. just snuck it in, there. I know. 20 yards. Woo! That looked Come easy. On. 25 yard line. Oh, right down Main Street, baby. The wind. Oh. Oh, let's go! Your boy's bringing it home, absolutely. Good go with the guy on the field today. Two for three, one for three, not a good look for your boy out here, but we're gonna finish it out, go to one of his favorite restaurants here in Long Island and finish out with a Q&A. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Before we leave the field, this is an STX sponsored video and B's got a little giveaway. I got a game use stick for my last few games of the season. Got an STX surgeon with a STX fiber shaft. To enter this giveaway, like this video and comment down below. Follow me, Mitchell Pelkey and STX on Instagram, and that's how you enter. Good luck. Mario's. Is it gonna be better than Sally's though? Let's find out. Just finished up eating pizza, Mario's, legendary spot. B said he went here after all your high school games. Yep, this was a go-to spot, this or Chipotle. We Two minutes down the road after a game, big win. Come here, eat some pizza. Love that, love that. All right, we're gonna finish with a Q&A action. When did you first pick up the lacrosse stick? They about second grade. My, really? sis, my sister was playing goalie. I just begged my dad. I was like, Dad, get me you a stick? lacrosse stick. Yeah, did you start play. shooting on her first? Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we used to play around in there. Fast forward a little bit, you're in eighth grade now, and you commit to Penn State. I think you might have been the earliest commit ever. Talk us through that whole situation with the recruiting process, being in eighth grade and everything. Yeah, it was definitely awesome going to different, <laughs> yeah. like, going to different schools, you know, like Penn State it was amazing. When I first got on campus, you know, I'm just like, wow, this is really happening. It's just like a lot thrown at you, and it was definitely a hard decision. And uh, yeah, I thought Penn State was a great spot, and yeah, nothing but good things to say about them. You're obviously eighth grade, you're playing Bayshore High School varsity lacrosse. Uh, and you commit to Penn State. Did you kind of feel pressure going into that first varsity year as an eighth grader? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was the speed of the game. For me being like a 13 year old, I mean like 18 year olds, you know, bigger, faster, yeah. stronger. I definitely wasn't the biggest or fastest, but I relied on the like stick skills, IQ to like, you know, to, to make up for not being as big and strong as yeah. the other guys. So fast forward a little bit, the recruiting rules changed and you decommit from Penn State, why that decision? Um, I think as I got older and matured more, I think what I wanted definitely changed. Yeah. After about three years, you know, I just like, as a person changed and I went through different stuff and thought that, dude, At the time of 13, you kind of didn't want to think from that. From 13 to like 18, 17 yeah. at the time, yeah, I just like, I just started like changing my mind a little bit and when I visited Duke, I thought this spot's for me, you know. Yeah, we alluded to in the beginning of the video, you playing USA this summer. How excited are you for that? Kind of give the fans a little behind the scenes of what to come. I mean, it's going to be awesome. I've been to another country probably once. It was Mexico. Uh, really? Your family vacation? Yeah, Cancun. Love that. Um, I'm just excited to be in a different area, you know, play lacrosse in a different area. Such a high level and I get to play with guys like Pat Cav and Alex Slusher, you know, all these guys are you're usually going against. In yeah, college. And on the same team. Yeah, yeah, now I get to play with them, so it's really cool. You're obviously an STX athlete, signed with STX this past summer. You know, what type of moment was like that for you? I dreamed about it all the time as a kid, you know, just getting sponsorships. I mean, I think it's great what they're doing now, letting college guys do stuff like that because we work so hard for it. I mean, it was a no brainer for me, STX. Long history, you know, yeah. guys like Kyle Harrison, you know, all these legendary players who rep the STX brand. I think yeah. like, that was a part of it. I'm just excited to be with that that type of group of people. You know? Absolutely, yeah. We were obviously there in the winter time. You guys saw that video. Us two, Chris, Knack, Tucker, Diso as well. Favorite place to eat on campus at Duke? The Loop. It's like a little Ooh, restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I went there. I got a, I got ice cream with Epco. Yeah, great ice cream. They got everything. Nice little area. You can watch TV. There's a bunch of TVs around. Kind Hang of like out a sports bar, you know. 
Describe Grant Mitchell in three words. Mystical. Okay. <laughs> gritty. 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 Mystical. Gritty. Skilled. Skilled. Okay. All right. Favorite player to watch growing up. Uh, favorite player, Mark Matthews. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Best moment so far in your college career, crosswise. Final four. Even though it was a hard game, we lost. You know, you dream about going to the final, final four, four and everything. Favorite part about being an SCX athlete? Probably the the gear. Yeah. Sick gear. Yeah. And last question. You ready? Yep. We're at, we're at a pizza joint now. Didn't see your order, so I'm looking to hear the right answer here. Are you a pineapple on pizza guy? No. Good. Gross. Good. Good. McKay Millen coming in two years. He is pineapple on pizza. Absolutely. Really? <laughs> I'll have to teach you, man. It's, <laughs> it's not the right way to go. Thanks, B, for coming out and doing this. Where can the fans follow you on Instagram? Yeah, Brennan O'Neill. Just Brennan O'Neill. Go follow me on Instagram. Love that, love yeah. that. Well, like this video. Let's try to break a thousand likes once again. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. So close to 40,000 subscribers. And what do you got to leave the fans with? Follow your dreams. Deuces.